All right, we're in the, that's way too bright, hold on. That's better. In the old dollar mine, this is the right side. It splits here at 314 feet behind me. And uh, this just shows some of the vein structure here. We've got tremendous amounts of quartz. Still showing limonite. Dang it, I put the thing on again. Limonite in there, chlorides. Uh, here's a cut face where they stopped. Um, looks like we hit some andesite up here. Um, this little V here is painted on the wall. There's a stringer that comes through there. I see it right there. Take the light away there. There we go. Another one that comes in right there. Make a V, and then this one comes down into the floor. Comes down about like 40 degrees, give or take. Um, but yeah, you can see still all quartz in here. And this is at 355 feet from the entrance, which surprisingly you can see the light. This tunnel is completely, almost perfectly straight. Runs at 110 degrees. I'm kind of looking around some stuff here. Well, we're gonna walk out now. Uh, let me put the big light on. Well, last time we were in here, there were some very not happy bats. Oh, let me back up here. There's another piece of vein here. Uh, what's that secondary one? There's a vein that comes up and down. You can see that. Um, let's get. More chlorides, chlorides, and andesite. You can kind of see the general trend of the rock coming down. Oh, that's a bright little red spot. Generally, a lot of limonite in here yet. Um, this one's a little more professionally done than the other ones I've taken pictures of. Uh, lots of rock bolting here. Obviously, you need the chain link to keep the rocks from falling. Lots of them here. This side stops there at three. 44, I want to say, do I measured it out? Oh yeah, straps, keep the rocks in. Bolt, these rock bolts I think are about four, four feet long. Helps to distribute the pressure of the rock throughout the surrounding rock. Uh, looks like they quit digging one right there. This little vein kind of doesn't really go anywhere. A little bit on the wall, a little bit in that corner, but honestly it's not really a whole lot here. There's some, I think this actually, the split here, has some in it yet. Uh, 300 feet right there. Rock bolts. There's some pretty good and kind of, where's a good spot at? There it is. Right there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Right in there, there's some copper staining in here. A little copper running through this streak. Lots of limonite. Uh, here we go, more limonite on this quartz vein that runs through the ceiling. Uh, mixing here with andesite and rhyolite. Um, a, lot of, a lot of good rock in here. And you kind of see this, these rooms are big. I and mean, obviously, going from that side down to the other one up. Um, I thought that was a bat. Last time there was about 40 bats in here, but this time they decided not to hang out. Um, more chloride sitting on the wall. 250 or 248 is what I got on this one light on full blast so you can see up there um, this is a raise without a ladder intact I think we got up there from the right side last time well down there you can see that ladder in the wall that ladder goes up it goes up three two blocks up two sections up and it comes across to here that photos that there's a remnants of a ladder I don't like how they built these so we're going to rebuild like 30 maybe 40 feet so I'm guessing is what that means right there it's 40 feet up to the next level um, you can kind of see this the ceiling is just nothing but vein it's just one big vein uh, with the andes ah, dang it, I got on right again sorry guys andesite and rhyolite on the right side Oop, now we're off there we're on um, and you can kind of see that all that red in the, in the ceiling that's all just one huge vein walking through here um, oh wait here we got some good chlorides yet. Great limonite in there in those quartz. It's good looking stuff. Um, all the way around it. And I think we're at the 200 foot. I'm off by a couple feet from there, maybe like six or seven feet, but they ain't here no more. So that's a little bit. Apparently this is a 30 foot raise in here. It goes up, more strapping. Some rocks actually falling. Drop down. So here's my 
here's 200 foot, so we've come 100 foot out already. CLC, just tons and tons of heavy mineralization inside the rocks themselves. Um, it's sheets of it, so I'm not sure how much is in the rock. Um, but, man, oh man, oh man. Okay, now going back out towards the entrance. Okay. More strapping here. Ceiling's about, eh, about 15 foot high. These are the, I think this, so I can measure it outside because there's a, there's an air tunnel. A tunnel that goes up actually to the surface up on the road that's above this. I don't know how high it is up there, but it's up there a ways. And, uh, oh, there's a bird there. Um, this plastic is actually the chute that might have pumped air down in here. I don't feel a draft from behind us where that other ladder was, so I think it's in this one, which puts it around. I think I measured it out at 174, I think what it is. We went up these ladders last time. Huh. That was the, the hole there. It's actually wired in the back. This one shakes quite a bit. Then you go up, and there's another ladder up this one that's made out of rebar. And then this room's up there really, really big, but we're not going to map those today. Um, obviously, lots of rock falls coming out of these. This thing needs a, a lot of work yet. Well, not really a lot. More ladders and stuff. Um, still following the vein in the ceiling. Obviously, why they went up. This vein does crop out two different spots up top. Um, not as good as the, the Eidos does, but that's miles and miles and miles from here. We got good... Mineralization again. Yeah, rocks falling and splitting the wires. It says 50-50 drift. I don't know what that means. Because we're not anywhere near 50. We're at 100. Coming up here in a minute. Um, some pipe works and stuff. So I don't know. A drift, remember, goes side to side. And, uh, looks like the wiring. I must have got good mineralization in here. Trying to just looking around. Obviously, these rocks are falling pretty bad. 25 feet. Uh, still coming in. Bat poop. No bats, thankfully, but I bet they like that little crevice what they're probably sitting in. But they're probably just hanging on the wire, actually. Anyway, keep going. You can really see that. Vein in there, see them right there. You pull that one away. You can see that chlorization in there, pretty heavy. All the way through there. All the way through there. So they have a little cut up there, too. Now we're getting to the stoping. This is near the entrance. Um, this is some more board they use to work up on top. A bunch of wires and stuff hanging down. I don't know. There's no way to get up into there anymore. I want to see what they're hanging on, what they're working up there. Um, but here's, <laughs> here's the vein right here again. Oh, there's rocks on the floor, by the way. That vein right there is uh, close to five foot. Shows lots of, lots, okay, this is panned across. Goes across all the way into there and comes back down. So obviously they're chasing that. Back down the ceiling the walls too. Um, there is some copper staining there. We can see around that where that stripe is. I don't know if that's paint or if that somebody did that. But there's copper right there. Let me pull it away. Can you see it? Nope. We have copper right in there. So they must have followed it up. All right, this is what intrigues me here. This is at 70 some odd feet in. I don't even see my, my measuring pipes. I brought in to measure the heights of some of these rooms and didn't bother today. But we've got one small winds here. We don't know how far down she goes, but it collapsed in. So... Winds has always intrigued me. So we'll get into there one of these days. We gotta get a lot of rock out of there first. Build an A-frame here. Stoke the walls up a little bit better. We don't like how they're doing with one four by four. But I want to get down in there and see if they if they're following down. Cause we only have maybe 110 feet going up. Ah, look, some old, old blasting wire. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. I cut a little hole in here on the side. This when they were first hunting. Oh, there's, you know, there's multiple veins coming through here. It's pretty, pretty rock all the way through here. Uh, too bright again, sorry guys. Um, it's pretty rock. I don't know what I painted there for. I painted something. Anyway, just good rock all the way through here. Nah, rock's going that way. We got, sh we got veins going every direction. This little first spot here. 
What did I put here? Hey, this is 25 foot in. I was gonna mark every 25 foot and then realized that's pointless. Okay, let's see. So we got really, really, really heavy mineralization in here on this, in this entrance still. Um, there's another cut way up above us on the exit, up on the road above us. Um, but that's good there. This is a little hole here that cut into it. I uh, actually never really ducked underneath there. And there's the exit. But here we go again. Good mineralization all through the roof. Um, from this point, right about, I don't know where I'm standing, about 81 foot out, even though it looks like it's right there. So really, just speaking, here's what perplexes me. As we got to this side, we've got cuts in the floor, cuts down, good limeite. I mean, that's just beautiful, beautiful rock there. Oh, it's heavy limeite, heavy mineralization all the way through it. Cut back into here a little bit. Yeah, down in there. Good limeite and everything else through there. They must uh, they decided to go the other direction with it, though. Um, this is actually multiple layers of quartz in here right now. Let me get on this side. I didn't measure anything on this side actually. I just came here and checked it out real quick. We call it the cricket cave because there are tons and tons of crickets in here. Looks like we did some blasting here, cut that out, see how high it would go. Um, I know this vein does run back this other direction too. Um, it's got an outcrop, but they didn't go anywhere with it. So I'm really gonna have to get up in there one of these days and see what's all there is to see. To rain a can of raid. Alright, so I guess where it splits to, that's both exits. That sign used to say danger. This is actually the old door. So that's a lock box. You put the lock underneath there. Um, somebody busted it out to get in here at some point in time. I think this one was originally opened in 90, no, 24 or 25. 1924, 25. And then, um,. They reopened her in 86 and didn't survive the stock market crash of 87. They shut her down. I mean, they were just beautiful veins. And that's just the, this is just a lower level. We've got two more levels above this to get into and the map out. But that's it. That's the dollar.